Okay, amigos, Phil. Wow. Phil slash Polly going here. Um, doing another special edition episode. I'm actually talking about mules, talking about save editors, and talking about those uppity purists. And uh, before the title gets me in trouble, I, me, Phil slash Polly going, am the uppity purist. Uh, I'm also trying to lay down this commentary in the wee hours of the morning, so I apologize if it sounds like I'm whispering. And just for a little bit of setup, um, this will be old news for anybody familiar with the channel, but for any new faces, here's what's going on. Uh, I've been playing on the PC, recently switched over to the PS3. I didn't switch. I'm also now playing on the PS3, but I don't have any characters that are PvP ready, so I'm bringing them up the old-fashioned way. I'm playing a purist. Uh, so I'm running around the game, fighting all the bosses, fighting the enemies, collecting loot, collecting gubbins. Uh, you don't hear gubbins enough. I'm going to start saying gubbins more. So I'm collecting all my gubbins, um, not using a mule, any kind of save editor, stuff like that. And I'm just trying to get these guys in the 120-ish range so I can uh, just take them out into the PvP wilds. Probably get utterly destroyed by the PS3 crowd. And I've made comments on prior videos about uh, just sort of the drag of farming, the grind, having to go out there and farm humanity uh, when I go on a losing streak or something like that, or, you know, upgrade weapons or things like that. So it, it, it does sound at times that I'm at odds with the PvE side of the game. And I've gotten a ton of great feedback from you guys just basically saying, just use the mule. Just, you know, you can be up and running in about half an hour. Just here's, here's a link to it. Check it out. It's great. I don't really want to use the mule, and so I just wanted to lay this down and sort of explain where I was coming from, just to put a little bit of perspective in it, because um, I don't think I've really done that adequately. I, I'll bitch and whine and moan about the PvE side of things, uh, so it's kind of like, why are you still doing it, man? Why? Why? Let me tell you why. And actually, no, let me first tell you why not. Um, so I think there's the conception or possibly misconception, that when people say things like, I don't use a mule, they are just trying to be uppity. They're just trying to be a little bit highfalutin, very vocal members of the purity camp. Um, <laughs> good old camp purity. That sounds like something else entirely. Uh, but no, so when people say things like, I don't use a mule, I don't use a save editor, they're almost implying that if you do, you're cheating, or you're taking advantage of something unfair. Do I think that? Fuck no, man. Some of my all-time favorite uploaders are huge mule advocates. And some of my best dueling buddies are huge save editor advocates. I have no beef whatsoever with people saving time to put together PvP builds quickly. Um, you know, there's a minimum five, six hour expenditure to get your characters up to snuff if you bring them through the game. And that's wicked quick. That's knocking on the door of speed running. I am definitely not uh, that fast about it. And so if you just kind of want to save yourself that time, save yourself that grief, time is very, very precious, go with God, dude. I am absolutely not trying to put any kind of negative connotation around using a mule or using a save editor. That is not any factor in why I don't use these things. And in fact, I have the utmost confidence saying that there will come a day when I use the mule or when I use a save editor to put builds together. That day is not yet. So why? Why roll through the game? Plain and simply, man, it is because I love the shit out of this game. And I want to play as much of it across all facets of it as possible. PvP, PvE, uh, if there was some other part that was PV some letter, that too. I am still very much in my honeymoon period with this game. Uh, and I, I just, I kind of like playing it. I kind of like rolling through the game, enjoying the scenery, picking up loot, experimenting and learning with some things, especially on the PvE side, you know, the the, which I feel is a little bit neglected in some of my uploads. So maybe I'm given the impression that it's all about PvP. And it's not for me. It's I very much like the PvE side of it too. I do like the lore. I like the story. I like reading item descriptions and all that kind of goofy stuff. So um, yeah, it takes a long time to bring up characters, but it's fun. For me, it's fun. So there's the fun aspect, that's that's one side of it. There's also the experiential aspect of it. Uh, you know, if you're paying attention to any of the clips going on in the background, I had a little trouble with the Asylum Demon. And this is on New Game, there are no pluses. And so, you know, someday I think I would like to be able to do an NG plus seven challenge. Uh, and I am just not good enough to do that. That Asylum Demon hit me twice over the course of our little battle. And that is not the kind of shit that can happen if you want to do any kind of you know, advanced plus, 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 plus playthrough or anything like that. So 
I need to just get better. I need to get more comfortable. I need to, you know, get more familiar with enemy attack patterns and with level layouts and things like that. Tomb of the Giants, I do not know at all. Uh, I have to still go through that thing very slowly with my stupid sunlight maggot hat uh, because I don't know where the pitfalls are. I don't, I'm not familiar with the layout. And that's the kind of thing that you know, I would really like to learn. And I'm not looking to master the game. That seems a little bit ambitious, but I would like to get familiar with it. I would like to get it to the point where it's fairly exhaustive to where maybe the PVE does become a drag, at which point I will absolutely use the mule and use save editors in order to put PVP builds together quickly, because I don't think the PVP will ever get old. Um, yeah, I have my doubts PvE will as well, because it, it seems pretty cool. Um, and I'm always experimenting with different routes, and can I do this before that, and all that kind of thing. So, uh, th th I still feel like there's a lot to explore. And for the most part, I still feel like I just suck at this game. Uh, case in point, I think I'm about to get killed by some skeletons. And that is not something I am comfortable with, in terms of saying, yep, I'm good. Look at that. Glad that blood loss happened. Hooray. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's a there's still a lot that I feel I need to explore in the game. Uh, another aspect is the co-op side of it. The P with P. Um, I love the co-op. I don't feature a lot of it in videos because I'm not sure that makes for some good watching. Uh, but there are times when I will just camp for 90 minutes in New Orlando, in, not New Orlando, in uh, N Orlando, you know, looking for the opportunity to help people take on Ornstein and Smo. Way to fall. I think I got some rage hits coming up here too. Yeah, fuck, fuck. Um, the co-op side of it is really fun, uh, and I really enjoy that. And and that is exclusively kind of the the PVE side of things. And that co-op side of it is something you miss out on if you just jump directly into the 120-ish level range with all your weapons and stuff like that. Um, you can absolutely you know play the play the anti griefer role. I'm sure there's there's value in that but you know sometimes i like just teaming up with another buddy another white phantom or something like that to take on the gargoyles at level nine with a plus one long sword or something like that and there are some technical reasons as well i mean the, the things seem a little different on the ps3 versus the pc the pc timing seems a little bit different uh it seems like lag is a little bit worse on the ps3 the pc seems fairly tight compared to the PS3 in terms of lag. I might do a, an episode later talking about differences or something like that, or just a compare and contrast type thing. Uh, I think I made a comment in my last video talking about getting used to the controller. Um, that's kind of a minor role. I mean, I'm slightly more coordinated than a monkey trying to peel a banana, so it's not like I'm fumbling with the controller. Uh, but there is sort of a getting adjusted period. You gotta get acquainted with this stuff again. Uh, but for the most part, it's just enjoyment. The reason I don't use mules, the reason I don't use save editors, the reason I grind through PvE time after time after time is because I've still got stuff I'm working on, and I really fucking like playing through the game. Uh, that's that's really it. No moral beef, you know, no holier than thou beef. I just dig it. I just kind of like PvE, and I'm just not ready and not willing to cut that component from my Dark Souls experience. And that's why I don't use the mule. That's why I don't use the save editor. Uh, for me, it's not exclusively about PvP. I still like the E. <laughs> that sounded like something else as well. So let me know what you guys think. I mean, a lot of the guys using the mules, a lot of the guys using the save editors and stuff like that, have you exhausted the PvE side of it? Um, or is that is that something that's just not important to you? Is it because, like, the PvP is the, the number one reason for playing the game? Or, you know, just out of curiosity, just for the, just for the conversation. Uh, like I said, I will almost certainly, certainly use a mule someday down the road or use a save editor someday down the road to put builds together quickly. Uh, I'm just not there yet. So let me know, when when did you cross that threshold? When did you guys start saying like, all right, I've had enough. I know this game backwards and forwards and all I want to do is PvP now. So all right, there we have it. Uh, I think I got a suicide run coming up where I run and grab that Firekeeper soul and then jump into the flooded new Londo. So I think that is an appropriate time to close it. Uh, throwing back to that terrible Amigos opening, uh, that was actually my second take. I got no further than a greeting on my first pass through the commentary. I'm going to append that to the end of this as a blooper reel. It's pretty awful. 
So let me know what you think, um, and I will keep on, keep on, keeping on, and catch you guys next time. Bye. Actually, I guess adios is appropriate. Hey, me hearties, Phil slash hop pop, Phil, what? Let's try that again. Why did I go me hearties? I turned into the leprechaun from Lucky Charms. Hey, me hearties, welcome to another Dark Souls video. That didn't sound quite right. Hey, me hearties, welcome to another Dark Souls video. The game is brutal. It'll really fuck you up, shall I? I think I'm actually going to leave that in as a blooper reel. If I do, I am so sorry. See you guys.